there's an important point to be made here, which is that uh, John Goffman, former chief uh, health officer of the Atomic Energy Commission, uh, uh, turned around and said that essentially nuclear power is an uncontrolled experiment with the entire planet and certainly with the health of the entire planet. And we have to question, why is it the, uh, the responsibility of the uh, anti-nuclear movement and of the people uh, who operate independently without corporate funding to prove uh, the health impacts uh, of, of these accidents, especially, I, I was in Japan in the mid-70s, we warned, people warned that you should, it's not a good idea to build nuclear reactors in earthquake tsunami zones. And we were assured by the Japanese government and by TEPCO that uh, what has happened at Fukushima could never happen. And so, the, you know, now we've had the experiment and we've been proven right, but so what? The damage has been done. Similarly, why is it the burden of the general population without the benefit of corporate funding <clears throat> to prove the health effects of these accidents? These are products which have been introduced into the e ecosphere without any uh, prior testing. You know, when you, when you in introduce pharmaceuticals or, or other chemicals uh, into the product stream, generally you're required to prove somehow or other that they're safe. We know how lax that is, of course, and how unenforced it is. But here we've had uh, uh, more than 400 commercial reactors opened within our ecosphere on this planet with the presumption that if something goes wrong, it's the victims who have to prove that there's a health impact, whereas these products have been introduced with no real assurance that they're actually safe. The, the whole thing has been turned on its head, and it, it, it's literally insane, and it's killing us.